we're going to go over the Ninja Trader 8 Trade Copier, okay? And it's where you can enter multiple accounts with a single click. And again, this is for Ninja Trader 8. It's a function that doesn't come with Ninja 8. And so we had built a trade copier for it. And it has two functions. And this will be a pretty short webinar because we have an extended webinar on it. But I just wanted to really point out a few things for you. And make sure that you understand them and the value and how they work. So... Uh, of course, we got risk disclosures, know what you're doing before you do it, all that fun stuff. But just to see the power of it, today, I just traded one account, okay? But I used the trade copier to make trades in multiple accounts. So, you can see how I was able to multiply it multiple times over, making about $90,000 today, just by trading one account. Even if you just made 900, or let's just say you made $90 in an account, and you were doing multiple accounts, you see how that can really, really leverage and multiply your profits? I mean, who would like to be able to do that, to be able to leverage and multiply their profits? So, whether it's big or little. Okay, so there's two purposes of the trade copier. And yes, we have released the NinjaTrader 8 indicator package. So to copy trades, the first purpose of it is to copy trades in multiple accounts. So it'll copy your entries, your exits, your ATMs, and your adjustments. Okay, so not just your entries and exits like groups using market orders, but actually everything, everything you do in one account will be copied in the other account. And that will save you a ton of money in clicks going between DOMs or charts. Having a bunch of charts open will save you a lot of resources. Um, you know, delays in clicking, mistakes, you know, chasing trades, making bad decisions and spiraling downward, okay? The other nice benefit is you can copy from mini to micro or micro to mini. So maybe you don't have multiple accounts, but does anybody out there trade micros? Or do you possibly take micro trades on minis? Would you like to be able to watch the big boy chart when you're trading micros? And take your trades off the big boy chart, but actually have them place it in the mini chart. So the mini, like you actually execute in a mini account. So think about like trading simplicity, right? You're supposed to, a lot of you are supposed to be trading that in micros. So with this, you can actually go in and you can trade off of the mini chart. You don't even have to have the micro chart open, but you can trade on the mini chart and it'll execute on micros for you. Or maybe you want to take trades off the micro signals on the minis. And so you can place trades on the micro and have it execute on the mini. Now, to do this, okay, you're going to need to have a SIM account if you're wanting to do micro to mini or mini to micro on purpose. And you already have SIM accounts built in, but you can make more SIM accounts. So you just go to accounts and you right click and you say, or right click in here, and you say, add simulation account. And you name the account whatever you want to. Like sim account to whatever, and then say okay. And then you have to disconnect and reconnect to get the account to be active, okay? Or just restart Ninja, okay? So, one thing that Joe asks is the data from the mini better than the micro? So, yes, it is much better because think about it. Do you think big boy traders are trading micro contracts at, you know, fractions of a tick at 50 cents a tick, a dollar, 50 a tick? Or do you think they're trading the full size contract, the mini contracts? Like, what do you think the larger traders are doing? So, you know, whether it be gold or oil or whatever it is, you know, S&P, Dow, Russell, okay? So they're trading the larger contracts. So you want to see all the volume, all the order prints is most important 
the levels and everything is most important on the mini chart. Okay? So how would you do this? How do you do it? How do you actually make it work? Okay? So is this hard and technologically challenging? No, it's automatically installed when you install your toolkit. Once you sign up, just restart NinjaTrader. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to show you how to sign it, where to sign up for it real quick. Give me a second here. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to do all this. Because it's really simple. So if you're on the apexinvesting.com page and you don't have an account, then you click here and sign up. Okay, it'll take you to this page which gives you all sorts of information on it, videos on it that shows you how it works. It has testimonials, people it has FAQs, all this. So a lot of the FAQs are, can I copy SIM and live accounts? Yes. Can I do multiple live accounts? Yes, as you already saw. Microsoft Minis, yes. Is it the same as the auto trader? No, it's not the auto trader. It, just, it copies one trade into other accounts. Can I use this on multiple brokerage accounts? Yes. Uh, we don't have a trial on it. Either you want it or you don't. Um, can I trade different sizes in the follower accounts? Yes, you can. How many computers can I use this on? You actually, right now, you can use it on two computers for life if you buy it. You get access for life. Um, can I use this with the auto trader? Yes, you can. Can I use different ATMs on the follower account? You can only use one ATM. Okay. If you already have an Apex account, just log in first. And then click on this link. It'll take you back to here. If you don't have it, it'll take you here to the training page if you do have it, which is really short. Install NT8, install the toolkit, how to update the toolkit, which you probably have already done if you already have an account with us. Uh, how to use the trade copier, how to enable ratios for different sizes, and how to do crossovers. So, and these are short videos, like four minutes, two minutes, three minutes. I mean, like literally, that's 10 minutes of training for you to know how to use it, Okay. So very easy to do, but I want to show it to you just so you can see. So let's say you wanted to trade on a mini. Okay. So what I'm going to do, but uh, you wanted to, you actually wanted to trade the micro because you're going to trade, say, simplicity. You just click on new and you go down here to Apex copier and you open it up. And then you go over and say, okay, I want to trade the ES. But I want to trade it on micros. And I'm going to do like Sim Leader. You can name the account whatever you want to. And I'm going to follow it on, you know, Sim Follower. Okay? Now, of course, you can do this in live accounts. I'm just doing this for, you know, examples. But notice how this says like exact quantity. You don't see anything here. So right click where it says method and click on cross order. And now I can click cross order. And notice that says MES is where it's going to place the trade. And so, now that I have that set up, I can go over here, and I can choose my Sim Leader account, and then let me bring my NT8 back up, but it's always on top, because I want you to see it. And I'm just going to put in, you know, let's say we're looking at, a, actually, let's say we're trading Simplicity. Okay, it's been going down, having a nice short run. So, SIM leader. And so, in a SIM account, now I can trade this from a SIM account to a live account. And I click sell. Notice what happened is, in the SIM leader account, it placed me in a, a mini. But in the micro account, or in the follower account, which could have been a live account... It placed me in the micro. And let me show it to you in a follower account, like a real live follower account, because that's how you're really going to be using it anyway. So let's get this. Let's put this always on top. All right, let me just close this out. Now, I'm gonna, so I'm going to say I'm going to put I'm going to put the put trade on a sim account so I can watch the sim simplicity chart or whatever chart you're wanting to do. But I'm going to choose a live account. Okay, to copy, and I'm going to say copy as a micro. And so on this one, we'll go in and we'll say sell. And you'll notice it automatically put me in the mini for the sim account, but in the live account, it put me in the micro. 
So I was able to play on the mini chart in the sim, but place it in my live account on the micro. Do you think that would be helpful to you? So I got questions now is, will the stop be the same? But let's say we had a stop right up here. Okay, we put a buy stop market right there. Well, let's go over and let's look at our orders. Both the stops are at 32.94. Now what if I want to make that stop move up? Now they're both at 32.94.75. What if I want to move it down? Now they're both at 32.93. What if I want to put a take profit over here right at that level? It automatically puts the take profit in there for me. Now it knocked out my stops. Well, now I got, okay, so I took a small profit there. So what if I want to cancel my stop? I cancel it, boom, now both of my take profits are gone. So it mimicked that. Now what if I use an ATM, okay? So let's go in and let's, let's just use an ATM. I know we don't use ATMs on Simplicity, but let's just say we were. Okay, and I'm not worrying about P&L and whether a trade wins or loses right now. I'm just trying to show you how it works. So I put it in. It instantly put in my order. It instantly put in my stop and take profit on both my mini and my micro. And if I adjusted that stop down here, then it adjusted on both of them for me right away. Okay? Do y'all see how that's beneficial? Like, would make it so much easier for you to trade a smaller size. So now let's close that out. I know I'm just like losing like two and three ticks left and right here, but that's okay. Let's go to ratio. What if I wanted to do three micros? I just make that say ratio. Okay. And it ought to work no matter what ATM you use, as long as you're placing the order in there. It's inside of Ninja. you got to place the order inside of Ninja. So it has to be a Ninja-based ATM. So now I'm going to go in and we'll just buy this time. And check this out. It did one on my SIM, but it did three micros for me. Does that help? So you really can trade the micros like that. Okay? <laughs> so yeah, it's I, I love it. It's super easy to use. And if I wanted to trade it on multiple accounts, all I gotta do is literally click a green box. And I could trade the other one on a full-size account. Or I could trade one contract or ten contracts or whatever I wanted to do. Okay? Now let's just say, you know what? I think I've... Well, it just hit take profit. Looks like it's hit it. It hit it on the micro. Check that out. It hit my micro take profit. But my sims still aren't there yet. So if I see that, you know, something's still there that shouldn't be, I can just say, you know, cancel all orders. Or I could say, you know, close out. Whatever. So, but the order was at the exact same price. So do you see, even if you, one thing I want people to really understand is even if you don't have multiple accounts, there's a massive value in using the trade copier because it copies from micros to minis. Okay. Now, if you want to just copy from mini to mini, just uncheck the box. All right. I'm doing minis. I'm going to do actual full size here. I'm going to do a sim. But. And I click buy. And it'll copy it over for me. Close it over. Cancels it out. Okay. Flat that one out. Here we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to do exact quantity. We're going to do sim leader. To sim follower. A 
and now it's doing it in two accounts for me at the exact same time. Now let me close it out. What if I wanted to do it in several accounts at the same time? There it goes. Now I'm in four accounts at the exact same time with one click. And if I go check my orders, there's all my orders. If I adjust my orders, it adjusts all my orders simultaneously. Did you see how fast that was? Let me do it again. All updated. 3293.50, bring it on back down here. 3296.50, like just boom, 3293.50. Well, if your internet goes down, that has nothing to do with the trade copier. So now what could happen is it possible, okay, is it possible that a micro and a mini may, one may hit a price and one may not? Because I think this is really important to teach on. Because sometimes the tick can be a little bit off. Is it possible with trading like multiple mini contracts that one order could get filled and another one could not? Like, especially like on a take profit. Like, it goes up, it bumps it, and comes back down real quick. It, could that happen even if you're manually placing all the trades at the exact same price? Right? So that can happen. Do you agree that that can happen even if you're manually placing all your trades? Like, does everybody agree with that? Like you see it hit the price, hit the price, hit the price, right? Okay, so what should you do? You should always have your position tab open. Okay, so just in case one contract gets filled and another one doesn't get filled, you just right click, well, it hit it there. Let me do it again. So we just right click and we say flatten everything. Okay. Did you see that? Let me do that again for you. I'm not trying to make money right now. I'm just trying to show you how it works so you ideally can make money. So again, flatten everything. We'll flatten them all out. Okay. So now let's go ahead and let's do another buy. Okay, and then let's just assume something didn't get filled. Okay, I right click and I just say flatten everything. And if it doesn't flatten it, I'm gonna say it again. Flatten everything. Keep an eye on your positions tab. Okay, that can, that can, do you think that you could get hammered if you didn't keep an eye on it and it didn't close the position and you didn't know it and it just kept flying against you? Do you think that's possible? Yes. Would you rather keep up 10 charts or just one position tab? So do you think it is very wise to keep up your position tab? You're not using up resources. You're not looking in 10 places. It's right there. If there's a mistake, I don't try to figure it out. Okay, this is a big thing. A lot of times traders freeze. Like, what's going on? Like, they want to figure it all out. What's going on is you need to right click and quick flatten everything. That's it. If you have to do it again, do it again. Just get flat. <clears throat> well, you'll know an order didn't get filled if you don't see it in here in your positions. But you can also look at orders. So let's say we go in and click sell. See, all my orders are right there. There's my positions. Here's all my orders. So I can watch both the positions and the orders tab. But to me, the most important thing is positions. And then once I know I'm flat, I'll double check and I'll click on orders to make sure there's no orders hanging out there. 
the nice benefit is when I hit flatten everything, it cancels all my orders. Okay? So if I go here to hit flatten everything, and if I have to hit it more than once, I hit it more than once. Whatever it takes, all my orders are gone. Okay? Now somebody asks, would hitting close on the leader account close all accounts? Yeah, so we'll do a buy market. Got our positions here. And we'll do close. And it closes out all my accounts at one time. So does that make sense to y'all how it works? And how do you see how easy it is? Flatten and close is the same thing. Except, well, in this case, flatten and close is the same thing because they're tied together. But the thing is, let's say you were closed on this account, but you weren't closed on another account for some odd reason. Then you would need to go here and say flatten everything. If you're already closed here and you hit close, it wouldn't do anything. All right? Close and flatten is, you know, I think close is better to use. Like, I don't use flatten unless I'm not supposed to be in something. The only time I use flatten on positions is when I'm not supposed to be in. So if I'm trading and I want to get out of a trade, I'm going to use the close button. All right. So we've got another great question by Jeffrey. Is it possible to have one on NQ and have another one set up on ES and MES? Yes. You just go down here, click the plus tab. See how I did that? You can have as many set up as you want to. And I can trade this one, change this one to NQ. And I could make it, you know, say sim leader if I wanted to. There's a sim follower. Right click on it, say cross orders. Click that one. Now it's MNQ. Now if I bring NQ over here and I change to sim leader. And I place a buy order. Then it'll place a buy order on NQ and MNQ. If at the exact same time I place a buy order on ES, then it places it on all my ES accounts that I have selected as well. So you really can do any combination that you want to. And if I wanted to flatten on everything at once, he closed would only close NQ or ES. But if I wanted to flatten everything, no matter what instrument it is, then I can do it on that page. And again, if you see other orders pop up but it didn't quite flatten everything, just double click it and, or right click it and flatten everything again. So does this take rocket science? I mean, literally the entire training is 10 minutes. Like for all three sections. And the three sections are how to copy to multiple accounts, how to do ratios. By the way, you can do smaller ratios. Okay? So let's say I wanted to trade half the contracts on this one and double the contracts on this one. And let's say I want to trade that one on M and Q and that one on NQ. I can go over here and I can hit sell market. Oh, that was on my ES chart. <laughs> Close. Let me, where did I put my simplicity? There it is. We'll go over here. And I got my two M and Q, in Qs, but I only did one. So notice it didn't do anything for me for the half. But if I change this to two contracts, now watch what happens. Now it just did one on my MNQ 
It did two on NQ, and it did four on the larger NQ account. You can see that by the difference in the P&Ls. So Jeffrey says he used it today on NQ and MNQ, and it was super simple. Um, do we have to set the copier every time you start NT8? That actually brings up a couple good things um, to remember. One is save it in your workspace, okay? But two, double check it because um, you want to make sure you don't have, like I already have one set up, my main one that I use over here. So I have this one set up. And if I have two of them set up and I execute, what do you think is going to happen if I have two set up on NQ and I don't know I have two trade copiers open? What do you think can happen if I have two trade copiers open saying to copy NQ on an account? You're going to take double trades. Yeah. We had somebody doing that the other day. They're like, what's going on? So yeah, it would be double doing it. Okay. So let's say you had like a 300,000. Now, so if now the ratio again to bring back a point, let's say you had a $300,000 account you're trading you know, two or four contracts on, and you had a $50,000 account you're trading five micros on, right? So now you can trade multiple size Lilu accounts using the ratios and using the copier. Okay? So you can even use reverse and have it copy the reverse position. So question, can you use multiple Lilo accounts that are from different emails? No, I don't know why you would have multiple Lilo accounts from different emails. So there's no reason to have different emails because you can have multiple Lilo accounts in one email. You notice I would not be trading here with all these walls. <laughs> Verse, we go long, 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 long. Let's see if it takes off. Um, so yeah, why why would you have multiple accounts on Lilu? Why not just have one email with multiple accounts? Have them move it over what I would do. Max accounts per copier? I don't know. I don't think there is a max because it will just give you a scroll bar. I know I have one person doing like 25. So. So can you trade for someone else? No. No. Don't do that. Don't trade somebody else's money. Yeah, he has like 19 qualified already. This is not for trading someone else's account. This is for you trading your multiple accounts. So you may have a college savings account, an IRA account, a self-directed IRA account. You may have... Some other retirement account. You may have your own fund like account that you personally opened. You may have, you know, multiple Lilu accounts. You could trade all those at once. What if you only want to copy for simplicity and not sniper? Let's see then what you would need to do is choose a sim account to be your leader account on simplicity okay and then use the actual account that you want to trade on on sniper does that make sense don so don's question was what if he wants to trade 
wanted to use the copier just for simplicity, but not for sniper. Then you would go onto your simplicity chart and you choose a sim account. And you go onto your sniper chart and you choose your actual account. And you tell the sim account to copy to your actual account. Let's see. Do I need a multi-broker license? Um, it depends on your connection. Like Rhythmic, as you notice, I'm connected and I have all these accounts connected with one feed. All these Rhythmic accounts. I have a multi-broker license, so I can connect to as many brokers as I want to. So if you're trading on multiple brokers, normally, yes, you need a multi-broker license. So if I have a custom strategy on the chart that enters my orders and manages my stops, is that compatible with the trade copier? Yes, it is. We actually have our own automated um, strategies that manage the stops and everything else. And any order placed on the leader account will be copied on the follower accounts. As long as they're placed inside of NinjaTrader. Isn't MNQ very choppy and illiquid? Eh, it was when it first came out. But it's got pretty liquid lately. And one of the good things is you're not trading MNQ based on MNQ. You're trading MNQ based on NQ. So you're going to use NQ pricing. Um, I mean, if you want to talk about illiquidity, I mean, NQ doesn't have massive liquidity. I pull up MNQ, it actually probably has more. So here's comparing MNQ and NQ. There's NQ with like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's with 4, 3, 5, 8, 20, 20, 20, 3, 6, 6. So you have pretty similar liquidity now and similar bid offers between NQ and MNQ. So they're a lot more liquid now than when they first came out. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to look at the other. I guess we can close this out now. <laughs> Got a nice simplicity long right there, didn't we? Made up for all that hashing we did. <clears throat> a few grand. Actually trading a, a signal on the chart. The multiple logins do not happen via the copier. So the question is, do multiple walk-ins happen? No. Do you log in with your connections? So Rhythmic will log you into all your accounts at one time. CQG will log you into one account. I think there is a way, and I, you can't quote me on this. I think there is a way that you can ask the broker to allow, when you log into CQG, for it to be a sub-account set that will log in both CQGs at the same time. But you need to contact your broker about that first. Okay, so... The logins happen via your connection. The copier just shows every account available once you've connected. Like, let's say I go over here and I disconnect from Rhythmic. Notice how all those accounts go away. Okay? But when I reconnect to Rhythmic, then they'll all show back up. So, the copier will reflect all accounts available for copying in your account. No, it can only can it be managed on a mobile device? No, it can only be managed on Ninja Trader 8. Ninja upgraded my single lifetime license to multi broker for 250 extra, but you have to tell them that you have a Lilu performance account. Okay, well there you go. Alright, um, let me see, let me wrap up real quick for you, okay? So one is, let me send you this link. I think this goes to everybody when I send it out. There's the link for it. And then just to recap for you real quick, 
You're going to get the Apex Trade Copier, which is normally $5.97. You get a lifetime license to the MTA Trade Copier, so this isn't a subscription. You pay once, you get it for life. You can use it on multiple markets, on multiple accounts, any combination you want, futures, forex, equities, like stocks and ETFs. Plus, you get a second computer license for the same user. But right now, we're doing it for 75% off at 150 bucks for one license, plus we're giving you a second license for free. Okay? So if you don't have an account, go to apexinvesting.com. If you already have an account at apexinvesting.com, go to apexinvesting.net. Sign up for it. And you can get it going. Um, again, how to use the tabs for different instruments. Yeah, it's simple. You just go down and you click a tab. And then you just choose an instrument. Like YM. And now it's a YM one. It'll follow YM. This one follows NQ. This one follows ES. Is the lifetime license only good while you're a member of Apex? You do not have to be a member of Apex to get the lifetime license. It's a lifetime license. There's no monthly membership tied to it at all. Is the sniper available on Ninja Trader 8? Yes, it is. All right, and then I got one last thing is we have a, I, I'm gonna pick a winner for a drawing. I wanna give away a free copier to somebody, okay? And that person's gonna be Jack Welsh. So also known as Sharpie. Give him kudos. He's always helping in the room and behind the scenes. So congratulations to Jack. You are going to get a free Apex trade copier for life for two computers. Uh, Mark asked, do you have to have the chart open in the following accounts? No, you don't. I just suggest that you have the position tab open. But you do not have to have the follower account, the charts open in the follower accounts. Does your trade assistant work on NT8? You bought it on NT7? You bet it does. You just go to the trade assistant page, and now there's a NinjaTrader 8 download and video. All right. Did I get everybody's questions? Probably to do with your computer, Iron. In NT7, they have a thing called groups, but it doesn't copy your ATMs. It doesn't copy your stops and take profits. It doesn't copy any adjustments you do. It just it just copies buy markets and sell markets. So it doesn't do anything like this in NT7. This is built for NT8. So again, if you want to copy multiple accounts, or even if you don't need to copy multiple accounts, but you want to be able to trade micros in any ratio you want to, but only have to focus on the mini charts, then this will definitely help you out. Please show how to create a new SIM account again. Yeah, no problem. Go over here to accounts, right click on account and say add simulation account, give it a name. And then say okay. Then close and reopen your Ninja. And you'll have a new SIM account. Can you close Singer follower accounts? Yes. So if you're in a trade and you want to just close one of them, you'd have to do it by looking at the chart. But let's say I was in an ES trade over here. I go to my positions tab and I want to close out of just this one I could say close this one and it would just close that one out so the 150 we haven't decided the cutoff date yet but it won't be forever so I wouldn't wait because it's literally 75% off just while we're just now launching it. So yeah, you can go and you can close one position at a time. 
and close all the positions. Um, we're not having any issues going with NT7, NT8. We have went through all the bugs and stuff and we're all set and ready to go. If you find multiple ninja accounts, I'm guessing you mean with ninja brokerage, um, I would request a rhythmic feed so that way they can automatically all, when you log into rhythmic, it'll log into all your accounts at the same time, Michael. They'll give you a CTG continuum feed, but you can request a rhythmic feed. Or they'll charge you more to link each of the accounts. So I'd recommend um, just getting a rhythmic feed. Because Rhythmic should connect all of them for you at the exact same time. So even if I don't need it now, but I want it in the future, should I purchase it now so I don't have to pay the 500 bucks? Yes. Because we are not going to be charging it less than 150 ever again. So if you're going to be wanting it in the future, then this would be the time to do it. Let's see, are there any other questions before I wrap it up? Hopefully y'all picked up a few tips on it, that I'll, you that already have it. Does it include upgrades? Yeah, that there shouldn't be a lot of upgrades needed. It sort of does what it does. Does it work in demo? Yeah, I, I just placed a bunch of sim trades. It works in demo, it works in live, it even works trading from demo to live or live to demo. All right, well, y'all have a fantastic day, or fantastic night, I should say. I'm going to spend the rest of the evening with my son and for his birthday here, and I uh, just wanted to go over this with you. And I will see y'all in the morning um, in the trade room. And again, this is the best promotional offer no matter what membership package you have. 75% off Theo, I think, is as low as it's going to get. Okay? All right. Thank you again, and y'all have a fantastic evening.